What's up, Buttercups? It's the Poor Lipstick Addict here, Devin, and I am coming to you with a new video. Um, I hope everybody is enjoying the new year and, well, not the new year, but the Christmas season and the holiday, well, the holiday season, whatever you celebrate. Hope everyone is having a great time with friends and family. Uh, so this video is a little bit different. I have decided to kind of do this a little bit more and keeping track of how much I use my lip products um, with this new Project Pan stuff that I've been doing this year. Um, so I have um, an idea for a video series where I showcase a lipstick that I had I have been using um, throughout the year and I've just recently now finished this lipstick up. I'm very proud of myself for finishing this up this year. Um, and then I'm just gonna break down like the product and the formula, um, how long it takes me to use it, how many applications, all of that kind of stuff I will be breaking down right now in this video. So I'm very excited about that. Let's just kind of get into the video, okay? <laughs> and then I would like to be um, continue this into the new year. So this is my first try. If it's really good and like people like it, um, then I will continue doing it. I got this idea from Too Much Tosh is the channel. Uh, she does a lot of project panning videos, but she also does um, how much um, to use up videos. So it kind of breaks down the cost per use and stuff like that. So I will be doing that stuff as well right now. So let me just get into the video. All right, so the lipstick that I have recently finished is the Charlotte Tilbury, I know bougie, Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 Collection uh, JK Magic in, is the shade um, lipstick. So I have this pulled up. I did receive this for Christmas. I got it in February. Um, from my good friend Kristen for Christmas and I literally love it. The thing about these lipsticks that I really love is this Hot Lips collection. You are um, you can refill the packaging. So if you want to either refill with this shade, JK Magic, or you can use this packaging that's so beautiful. Let me close up on it for you guys but it's got stars all over it it's super gorgeous um and bougie looking obviously and then you just have the lipstick here um the refill and then you can just buy the refill so for the lipstick with the packaging my um it is retailed at 37 dollars in the united states um and this is a let me see if I can find a um, amount of lipstick 3.5 grams so this is like an average full-size lipstick 3.5 grams um, and this is what it's looking at right now so if you kind of can see the little plastic nub it is literally flat with the plastic when I put it on my lips today I it scraped but I was determined to get it as flat as possible before I filmed this video. Um, I'm really excited about using this up, but I did get this at the end of February and I <clears throat> used it um, from February to December. I finished it on December 20th, so very excited about that. Um, and like I said, this is a $37 lipstick, so it is not cheap. The refills, though, I believe, let me see if I can quickly find a price here on my phone. Um, I believe they're $25 for a refill. Yes, $25 for a refill. So it's really nice to, like, one time buy the packaging and as long as you take good care of the packaging, you just have to buy a refill. 
um, and you can get whatever shade you want in a refill. Like you don't have to fill this with JK Magic. You can fill it with any of the other shades in the refillable packaging. So that's what I really like about this. Um, I did, I didn't have a scale at the beginning of this. Um, otherwise, I would have kept track of the weight of it um, from beginning to end. But the ending weight for anyone who has this packaging, um, this my uh, packaging without the refill in it was 26.89 grams. Um, so you can kind of like estimate. I know that um, some of the packaging might be a little heavy, like some people's packaging might be a little bit heavier, some people's might be a little bit lighter, so on and so forth. Um, and then the refill, empty like this, not, um, scraped out, sorry, I didn't dug, dig this out, um, is 6.37 grams. So I am planning on digging this out and I will like eventually digging this out, but I'm con considering this finished. Um, I'm planning on doing a video later in the year of like, of the next year, um, of like scraping out the little bits that are left of lipsticks and making like a Franken lipstick with those. So I'm kind of saving this for that video. But when I do that video, I will try to remember to scrape this out and then weigh this packaging for anyone who has this and they are planning on scraping out the packaging um, and stuff like that and they want to know, you know, how, how much it weighs empty so they can kind of guesstimate if they're project painting or something like that. Um, but anyway, as it goes, um, <clears throat> I use this a total of 204 applications. Now, for me, um, obviously my lips are pretty average sized, um, but like an application for me is like this. Like I swipe the bottom lip twice and then I do the top um, once. Like I start in the center, you know, so you can kind of get a feel of like, how much I use during an application. Occasionally, one of my applications would have been like um, using this like in the center or like just blotting it on. Sometimes I do that, but I just count it as an application every single time. I don't like, oh, that's like only half in an application. No, I just like, if I put it on my lips, application, done. Um, so I used it 204 times. So obviously, if you have bigger lips, you'll get less applications out of it. Um, if you have smaller lips than me, you'll get more applications. But for me, that's like pretty good because um, to me, usually average cream lipstick, because this is a satin finish, I do believe. Um, let me pull up the information on Charlotte Tilbury's website. A peachy nude rose. Um, <laughs> the dreamy sun. Um, also this shade is based off of JK Rowling, um, if anybody didn't know that. Um, so this is a, using the Charlotte's, Charlotte's Iconic K-I-S-S-I-N-G formula, kissing formula, um, moisturizing, hydrating for soft, kissable lips. Um, I love, I do love this formula. I'm pretty sure it's like a cream or a satin finish um, or similar to those. So for $37, you're getting three and a half grams. And I got 204 applications out of mine without digging it out. So there's probably there's probably a good like quarter of a gram or even half of a gram stuck in this lipstick right now. Um, but with what I did, I got 18 cents per use. So to me, that's like really good. Yeah. Um, I probably reapply a lipstick around three times a day. Um, you know, I re or not reapply three times a day. On average, I apply it in the morning and then I reapply twice, um, like throughout the day. So 
that's my average. Sometimes I do less, sometimes I do a few more, depending on what I'm doing and where I'm going, how much I eat, etc., etc. But you can basically um, say if you get 204 applications out of it and 18 cents per use, um, and you use it. So if you get 18 cents per use, and you use it three times a day, that's 54 cents a day. And then if you think about it, like you're getting 204 applications and if you apply it three times a day, like I usually do, that's 68 days of use. Um, for me, that's really good. Obviously I have more than just one lipstick that I use on a regular basis. So for people who just use one lipstick every single day, day in and day out, this would last. A little over two months um but for people who like for me this lasted from february of 29 2020 to december of 2020 so that's 10 months of use for me so i think that's or pretty much 10 10 ish months for me because i got it at the end of february that's pretty good um considering all the other lip products that i was using throughout the year um but I really like the formula of this. I'm wearing it today. Obviously, this was my last um, day using it. So that's really exciting. Um, but, yeah. Oh. I'm so sorry. It's like 6 o'clock here. So I don't know why I'm tired. Um, yeah, so if you think about it, like if you are someone who reapplies it, then you get 68 days of use. If you're someone to a, like 100 days of use, depending on how many times you reapply it. But if you're someone who doesn't reapply lipstick, you just put it on the morning and then you're good through the, through the whole day. Um, that's 200 days of use. So that's pretty darn good. Um, and if you have more than one lipstick in your collection, you're obviously not going to use it every single day in a row. So... 68 days of use could span the whole year. Um, so I think that's really good. Um, and yeah, on average, I used about 20 applications a month. But then obviously with less products that I was trying to use up, I started just focusing on this one. It's a great everyday nude sh peachy nude shade. So... That's kind of how I saw it, and that's kind of how I used it. Um, so I really hope you guys like this video, and if you have any questions about this formula or anything about this or any recommendations of lipsticks that I should try or that you want to see me do this with, um, leave them down in the comments, and I will be sure to look at them because obviously I'm not a popular YouTuber, so... <laughs> I have all the time in the world to do those things. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to this new year. Happy holidays, and I hope you have a great start to your 2021 year. So, bye everyone. See you in the next video.